Dear Training Diary, here we are. We are one week closer to the BMO half. Um, this week was the second week, well last week, the one that just finished was my second week in my power phase of training and I have been feeling very peppy, so that has been nice. Um, last week's runs felt they felt good, but challenging. Um, they felt challenging. I will say that my long run this week, so I had company, which was fantastic. My sister-in-law was in town and she, like I mentioned in the very first um, Dear, Dear Training Diary, she is actually the reason that I am running the half. So we decided to do our long run together. Um, and great news, we were both feeling jazzy. And so we were a little bit faster than I had thought. So I'm doing more of, um, not more of, I am doing uh, time-based running with my program and she's doing distance. So she came along for my, my time, which was 110 minutes this week. And um, what started as 110 minutes actually turned into uh, like 30 minutes more. So we turn around at halfway, a little over halfway, because I kind of anticipated that we might be a little more jazzy. Um, so I wanted to give us, and, and the route that we ran, it was a little bit more uphill um, on the way out and so more downhill on the way back. So I figured we'd be a little bit faster on the way back. Um, but yeah, so we turned around a little bit past um, halfway time-wise. And I thought I had kind of accounted for the difference between the up and down, um, but we were just really cooking along on the way back. So there was this little path that I was like, oh, why don't we take this extra little path? Um, because, you know, we still have X many minutes left and I think we're gonna end up having to like run by the house, which means going down another hill and then coming back up. So why don't we just take this little path here to add a little bit of time on on the way back? So that's what we did. Um, I have a horrible sense of direction and I, I got us lost and we ended up having to run not only extra but actually like hike up um, a very long hill um, and as we were hiking up the hill the timer went off but we were nowhere near close to home so we ended up with an extra 30 minutes um, we did try and call Guy to come pick us up because, um, you know, we want to keep keep to the program, right? Like, got to keep the program. Um, but unfortunately, he was busy with his um, Road to Bear Mountain training, so he was unable to pick us up. So we kind of had to muster and, and make it back. So good news about all of that is um, I definitely feel ready to run the half seeing as we ended up doing something like 21K. So I hit my peak week for running maybe a little bit early um, with many, many more hills and high hills than I had, had hoped for on this type of race. Um, but yeah, so good news, I'm ready to run a half marathon. Um, and if there are some surprise hills, this girl, she's got the power, she's got the strength endurance, she's got the strength for it. So. Yeah, that's where we are. So I am heading into week three of power this week and um, I'm gonna do my most, um, I was gonna say my most best, but it's not my most best. I'm gonna do my bestest at making sure I stick exactly <laughs> to the program um, this week in terms of my runs. And there you have it. I hope you guys are all having a lovely week, no matter what you are training for.